Hello, the powers that be at YouTube. I am the creator of Beam NG Experiment, and I was uh, just notified that I was reusing someone else's content. And I'm going to start the appeal because, uh, let's see, this is my channel, Beam NG Experiment. Um, I'm going to, because I'm going to show you right now how it's impossible for me to be using somebody else's content because I have the actual 3D original file prior to editing, prior to any sort of production that cannot be reproduced, <laughs> except for the only owner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn the camera on real quick. Beam NG Drive is a soft body car collision simulation. It's a th In essence, it's a 3D engine that you can simulate car crashes in. These are my 3D files that I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'm gonna pull, let me see, let's pull one up here. We're in Utah right now. Let's just go to the very bottom, one of the recent ones. And what I can do is I can load up my 3D scene that I was, whatever one I'm working on, we'll go to this uh, Utah one. And it will load up my 3D scene. It will start playing it. Now I'm gonna pause it real quick. See, so, I, so what I do is I animate these cards. This is the animated scene. I can fly my, you know, my, uh, let me break my camera away. I can go all around in this scene here. And this is what I do prior to actually capturing my screen. I hide my interface, I set my camera up. So, so for example, here I'll, I'll find you a recent video. Uh, this was a car versus speed bumps compilation. And I'll come to my over here and let's see here. There's my, there's one right there. Okay, let's find this scene in here. So this scene right there, we're gonna find. There's, I, I do compilations of different car crashes. I render them, I do slow motion, I get my camera, see I'm moving the camera around, I'll show you how I do that in a minute. I move the camera around, let's see, let's find that one scene though, so you can see, oh, 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 here it is, look, hey, now, this is this scene, let me close this up, okay, now I don't know if my camera, oh my, actually my camera's kind of back where I had it, it's kind of funny, because obviously I can fly my camera around, it's, you know, it, 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 I'm not going to ever reproduce exactly what I just did, so let me see here. We're gonna hit play and we're gonna watch this. Okay, there's a yellow car. Now, and I have some slow motion here and I'll show you how to do slow motion too. It crashes, now watch the hood goes up, the the uh, the, the trunk goes up, the, the um, bumper fell off, same thing, uh, let's see, yep, this one with the bumper will probably fall off too. And at the bottom I have this one do a little explosion. And so my, I do a compilation of my best stuff. It's gonna explode down there. So remember, bumper's coming off, whatever. Now in my engine, here, I'm going to set my camera down so I can use both hands. Here, I'm going to play my scene, and the same thing is going to, going to happen, except for now it's a 3D. I can move this wherever I want to, but we're going to, I want you to see what you just saw in there. Bumper, boom, boom, oh, there, now it's going to explode down there at the bottom. Now, that was in fast motion. Boom. Same, same thing you saw there. Explosion there. Explosion there. Okay. Now, I'll even uh, rewind it, because, again, it's a 3D engine. I can, I can do whatever I want to. Uh, and move my camera around, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how I do slow. Typically what I'm doing when I'm filming this, it's not as uh, clunky because I'm not, okay, so, all right, here we go. Now, I'm doing a lot of slow motion here. Same thing, you know, see a bumper fall off, look, a hood come up, look, look at the hood, look at the, same thing with this one. Oh, there, trying to put bumper come off, oh, I can even zoom in. Um, well, I don't have my zoom set up right now, but usually I can zoom in, zoom out, you know, make it look a little bit more uh, exciting, uh, just whatever. And then I record my, I record however I want it. Then I take it into Premiere, and then I edit my file, my you know the, the good parts of it. Same thing over here. Here's the channel. I'll replay it one more time. And I, I do appreciate y'all going through this effort to make sure nobody's stealing people's stuff. But as you can see, I have the actual original file of this animated scene, you know, pixel by pixel. And so uh, I hope that y'all see that I am not one of those people out there. And the explosion. So thank you again, Beam and G Experiment. Please take a look at this and let me know if there's any other thing that I can get for you. I have all of my pre-rendered files I can send you, but I don't I think it'd be a little bit a little bit much. But thank you so much. Y'all have a good day and let me know uh, so we can get my channel going again. Thanks.